going to show you is these two little blue buttons up here. Uh, the one on the left here, this is the auto scroll. I like to keep it selected so that whatever part of the song is being played, uh, where the cursor is, uh, it's going to show me on the whole screen that part of the song. If you have it unselected, the cursor will just run off the side of the screen and it won't carry you along in the song. Uh, not a big deal. You can just leave that on or off the whole time and really get used to it. But this feature, the snap on and off, is key. you got to understand this tool. Usually it's a darn good thing to have selected on because what it does is when you have a, a segment of audio, see how I have I've used my scissors to, to split audio here for whatever reason. Um, but if I move it, notice how it snaps to right where, a, where a, a beat is. If this feature was off, I can move it anywhere, which there's a time and a place for doing that. But you can end up with some glitches. So put it back on. You can change the parameters of your um, Snap 2 feature. It's linked to quantizing. Uh, and you can say whether you want it to snap to the bar, snap to the beat, or quantize. And I'm going to show you about quantizing next. Quantizing. I've just double clicked into a MIDI track here, part of this song, to show you some of the notes I played on the keyboard. But say you hit one note that's just slightly off. There's an example. Because they they show you the the bar the beats in here and this one's a little late. Now there's a time and a place for quantizing and if it sounds pretty good you might as well leave it alone because if if every single thing is very organized um, if everything's too perfect it's just not going to sound human. I really like to quantize just the first note of a section. That's important because later when I do cutting and pasting then I'm not going to run into problems. Say if this first note was played just a little bit before and I try to loop the section it's going to miss that first note. You'll, you'll have that happen. You'll know what I'm talking about. So quantizing is very easy to do. You can select one note or lasso several notes and simply hit the Q button on the keyboard otherwise go up to MIDI, quantize. You can change how intense it, it's going to quantize. If you've got it set to 1 64th and, and quantize something it's barely going to move it at all. It's just going to move it to the nearest 1 64th of the measure. Um, if you've got it set to one bar that's pretty da drastic. I usually have it on a 16th or 8th. Okay, last thing is emptying the pool. Uh, this is kind of a random thing, but you should really know about this. Uh, MIDI files don't really take up a whole lot of room or processing speed. But this song has a whole bunch of guitars going on, guitar and bass, uh, things that I actually recorded. And I'm not a perfect guitar player, so guess what? I have to take several takes sometimes. Nuendo saves everything you do. If you hit record and make a mistake and stop, delete it, and do it again, it saved that first take. So it saves all of those in the audio pool. Pool. You can open the audio pool. You can also empty the trash. 
Emptying the trash will delete all of those saved takes. So as long as everything on the screen is stuff that you want, you're perfectly safe emptying the trash. And it says, warning, this will erase files. Well, yes, it will save room on your computer, uh, keep your folders more organized. Another way around needing to remember to empty your trash is a simple trick that I picked up somewhere. Uh, when I'm doing my multiple guitar takes, say I play a couple measure or a couple minutes and, it, and I make a mistake, rather than deleting it, I just edit undo. That undoes the record and then that record, that little wave file does not end up in the audio pool. So as long as you edit undo mistakes, you don't have to worry about this secret pool full of all of your mistakes. I know when I got started I didn't know about this feature and my songs were huge because I took so many takes and I had to go back and empty all the trashes and found out my songs were actually much smaller than I thought they were. That's it for today. Have fun. Go record.